struggled with it huge where I work. I work in a very macho business and, and it's a very difficult thing to share share my faith there. So I struggled with that for years and when I finally came out of that shell and started talking about it, I felt much better. Well, I worked in the banking world for 32 years and so oftentimes when I was in a bank lobby, I'd want to say something about Christianity or, or witness my faith to people, but you just can't in the business world. Um, I don't know if it was so much my company told me I couldn't or if I was too Scandinavian to get out there and do it, but um, I just couldn't even talk to my staff about how I felt about God. And I know some of them probably could have used some of those conversations, but I was just too scared to do it. I know it. I, I feel the same way because I'm in the business world and I, I don't overtly witness to my faith in the business world, but my staff know that I'm a Christian and so I try to make sure that everything I do you know is, is consistent with my faith and that I'm not um, saying one thing and, and acting a different way so even though I'm not overtly sharing my faith I try to live the live the life there have been a few times where it's like um, it'll come up in a subject with a group of friends that I'm not usually comfortable talking about it with but um, usually I shy out about that and that's really a bummer. I wish I would be able to be more strong about that and share, but um, sometimes that comes up. I think that it's uh, when you know that they're very much opposed to it. I, I have a son that's an atheist and to try and talk to him is, is really hard for me to do that and to still try and keep a positive um, relationship. With some of my friends who are kind of having some problems, uh, I want to like say something like, you know, share a Bible verse, but I don't feel comfortable doing it. And I just kind of haven't and lost my courage. <laughs> I happened to be working late one night, um, just at my desk, working on my computer. And our company contracted with uh, mentally handicapped individuals to clean our, our building. And this young lady came into my office uh, to empty my um, trash bins. And as she was leaving my office, she stopped in the doorway. And she just turned around and looked at me and out of the blue asked, do you think Jesus could love me? And it just, it stopped me cold. You know, I just... It was the last question I was expecting at that time. But I looked at her and, and I said, absolutely, Jesus loves you. He made you perfect. He made you the way you are in a very special way. And he absolutely loves you. And she got a great big smile on her face and said, do you really think so? I said, I know so.